I've been dealing with a big problem and it's that people keep breaking my mailbox. In just the last year, my mailbox has been broken four times. So the mailbox is at an Airbnb I own and it's not my guests breaking it. It's just random people breaking it. And every time somebody breaks it, I have to get my contract over there to either repair it or go out and buy it and install a brand new mailbox. Each time I have to install a new one, it costs anywhere from two to $300. And so far I've spent probably over a thousand dollars on just mailboxes. And it's especially annoying because this is an Airbnb. So when the mailbox breaks and if I don't repair it quick enough then the guest pulls up to a house and there's a broken mailbox sitting in front of the Airbnb. The most recent breakage was about a week ago so I'm going to go over that and the other four instances because a lot of people find this funny or amusing. Uh, I personally don't. Maybe I'll find it funny like later on. Right now it's just kind of stressful <laughs> if I'm being honest because I don't know why this keeps happening. So let's go over this and see what's going on. So this was the first time that my mailbox got broken. This is what it looks like afterwards as you could see the mailbox is hanging off as if a car hit it or somebody hit it with a bat and it just broke off of the post. This is what it looked like after we eventually took it off and I had to install a new one. And this happened about a year ago. The story with this is pretty interesting. I actually made a video on this. I posted, got like four 4 million views ish. So it kind of went viral. But what happened was the house is an Airbnb, as I mentioned, and I had a guest staying the night and the guest texts me in the morning. He says, don't be mad at me. And I'm like, um, okay, like what's, what's up? You know, like, I don't like this conversation already. And he says, don't be mad, but the mailbox is broken and I didn't do it. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, how is that possible? So he goes and he sends me some pictures of the mailbox. And obviously this is one of the pictures of it. And he says that he woke up and it was like that. So I go back to my camera to see it. And because it was late and at that time I didn't turn my light on, on my camera, I didn't really get any view of it so i don't i didn't know what happened my neighbor did so i talked to my neighbor and he says a drunk driver came through the area and actually hit my mailbox and he witnessed it and heard it but the craziest part of this story isn't just somebody you know hitting my mailbox and breaking my mailbox at 1 a.m is that on top of this picture he also sent me this picture of the mailbox on the floor <laughs> you can see an envelope from, from inside my mailbox on the floor it was probably just junk mail this picture of the actual mailbox this picture of what he thought was part of the mailbox but actually was a cell phone so once he sends me these i'm looking at it i'm like you gotta be kidding me i have my contract on the phone and then i'm like wait a second is that a phone and he's like i don't think so i'm like can you go back out there and look it looks like the third picture you sent me is a, is a cell phone so he goes out there and he's like oh yeah it is a cell phone wow so he brings it in so i'm not local to this area where the house is so after he left i had my realtor who is local to the area check on the mailbox check on the house and also look through this phone so he's facetiming me like this and then we're going through the phone that's like right here together and we're just scrolling through it seeing like what kind of clues we could put together from looking through this phone and what was crazy is as soon as he opened the phone the first thing that was playing was the wild west theme song so i immediately thought it was like a planted phone like somebody broke the mailbox planted the phone there on purpose put the wild west like they're declaring war on me or something like I was a little scared but as we went through it we noticed that it was a normal phone the context had mom and sister and brother like actual like that's what it said and then we also went through the text messages now the text messages were a little sus because it was texting a lot of uh professional dancers from clubs if you know what I mean and we could tell just by the context of the conversation so what I did was I actually called the mom and the sister to get an idea of what happened and I recorded the calls it's a little low quality but i'm gonna play the calls just so you can see exactly what happened i found a phone yesterday oh it's my brother's phone where did you find the phone whose phone is this why did you ask the person a question it's not your phone the phone was found next to my broken mailbox what whoever's phone this was broke a bunch of mailboxes on my street oh my god no i don't know about that around 11 20 p.m Somebody came down our street and broke a bunch of mailboxes. He ain't gonna do that. Got his phone right next to the mailbox. Listen, baby, his phone was literally stolen. My brother's not no young boy, he's a grown old man. I ain't gonna uh, tell you nothing more. Do okay. what I'm trying to do, but I'm telling you, that's not my brother. You accusing a person you don't know. Brother lost this phone that stole, so whoever stole it from, that's who broke in your mailbox. Have a nice day. 
Okay, okay, so you want me to file the poop? What was the, the call with the sister, like completely denying it? Her story was that the phone was stolen and that somebody broke up my mailbox and put the phone there after they stole it, which is just an insane story. And then after that call, the guy actually called me on his sister's phone. So I'll play that call too. My sister said they have my phone. Who is this? Talk to the phone of the phone. So I lost my phone in a club last night. The police have your phone now. The phone was found next to my broken mailbox. Sir, I didn't broke no mailbox. I lost my phone last night. That's why I'm calling. I did nothing wrong. You have a video of yes, what looks like maybe you? Yes, sir. To have broken my mailbox? Well, this located it because I was not I wasn't nowhere near. What would be live at? I'm not gonna give you my address. I don't want you to come back. No, I ain't did no breaking about his mailbox. I did not throw on his mailbox. Okay, yeah, so the mailbox breaking happened around 11 20 p.m. I have a video. It looks like you in the video. Who broke my mailbox then? My mailbox is broken and your phone is there. Did you lose your phone then? In a store. You lost your phone in the store and this person in the store came decided to break my mailbox and put your phone there to frame you? So that was the end of the second call. Yeah, so he says he lost his phone in the club and then he lost his phone in the store. So it's like, bro, just make up your mind. Like, what lie are you going to go with? This is the outcome of this. So I had my contractors go over. You could see here's a picture of them installing the mailbox right there. And here's a picture of the fixed mailbox. So this mailbox isn't going to last very long. So remember that. But this is the first instance of my mailbox breaking. This is crazy. Like, who would have thought this freaking guy would break? break the mailbox like that it was just insane and uh what ended up happening was a police report was already filed that night uh when i called they just you know added on to it i actually ended up giving the phone back to the police who gave it back to the guy i was just like whatever you know maybe it was stolen maybe it wasn't but gave him his phone back i'm a nice guy and this mailbox altogether cost me 300 dollars. yeah kind of sucked but that's the first mailbox break. Now here is the second mailbox break. Unfortunately, I don't have as crazy of a story with this one, but uh, basically what happened was a driver drove into the mailbox and broke it. I had a video of the driver actually driving into the mailbox, but unfortunately I couldn't find the video. So I don't have that to put on this video, but another 300 bucks got a new mailbox and that one sucked. Now this is the third mailbox break. And this one is, it's not as crazy as the first one, but this one, it's a little funny i'm not gonna lie this one is a little is a little humorous it reminds me of something that you saw in like those like 2000 videos of like fails and stuff but this is a video and as you can see my mailbox is right here and there's gonna be a lady on a bike coming from right here and she's actually gonna drive into my mailbox and break my mailbox and she's gonna hurt herself too now this one i just don't understand because the entire street is empty so there's no excuse for riding that close on the end of the street to hit my mailbox when the entire street is empty but let's start this video you can see her right there <laughs> like are you kidding me are you kidding me so she she hits the mailbox let's, let's replay it again ready here she comes boom <laughs> like bro the whole street is empty and then she falls over and she gets up she's in pain right here still no cars in the street still an empty street she gets up she's wobbling she's not doing good wobbling off she picks up her phone or something right there and she's like oh my god and of course she's not gonna you know help me fix the mailbox or pay to fix the mailbox she's just picking up her belongings and she's gonna pick up her bike and ride off so that's the third mailbox break and here she goes she's still in pain like <laughs> this lady is still in pain but she's gonna she's gonna get up and uh she's gonna ride off right here and we'll see how she rides look at oh now she now she learns how to ride in the middle of the street now she learns how to ride in the middle of the street. Imagine if she hit another mailbox. <laughs> no, so she, she's good for the rest of the ride. But as you can see, the mailbox is destroyed and she's gone. And I had to spend another $300 to get this mailbox redone.
again. So this is the third time now that I have a new mailbox. And now let's get into what happened last week because this is this is an ongoing issue. So as you can see the date here, 9, 10, two weeks ago this happened. And as you can see, this car is stopped and this car in front of him is also stopped. And it looks like this car in front is gonna try to do a three point turn. So maybe he turned on the wrong street and he's gonna do a three point turn let me full screen this and let's play it because I think you can see what's about to happen so here it goes it looks like he's about to hit it I'm like okay okay good he didn't hit it he moves up a little bit then he backs up again still hasn't hit the mailbox and the other car is going to go through what messed up is he tried to go while this car is still here he should have waited but watch then he drives, boom, mailbox broken again. <laughs> mailbox broken again, and he hit his car. Like let's, let's get the replay on this. So here he goes, it looks like it starts right here. Gonna start uh, hitting him right there, and it scratches it. That's gonna leave a mark for sure. Like look, that wheel even raised up. You can see the pole gets slanted after that, and then he gets up and He's just gonna drive off. These guys don't even know what happened. So I have to get the mailbox fixed a fourth time, which I am in the process of doing now. But yeah, it's crazy. Another, you know, two, 300 bucks. So far we're in over a thousand dollars in mailboxes, which is something that I never thought I would experience. And just for reference, the mailbox isn't thinking over the road. You could see the road right here. There's plenty, there's at least two, three feet here between the pole and the street and then where the mailbox is there's at least another one to two feet there but at this point i'm just thinking about getting rid of the mailbox or moving the mailbox a little bit behind this pole right there so moving it back like three feet i have one more instance of something else happening now luckily this wasn't my mailbox but it easily could have been you're going to see this light on the left side of the road and that light is a car so just watch that car as it drives by okay here it comes right here ready it's driving and boom <laughs> hits my mailbox and I, I have the sound on this video so let's play with the sound You can hear all the pieces flying. You can hear the whole crash and everything. She hits the mailbox and drives off. As you can see, my mailbox is still okay. It's like the trash can took the hit for the mailbox. <laughs> uh, and this guy over here, my neighbor across the street comes out. He's like, yo, what was that noise? Um, now this lady drives off, but she actually does come back. She parks over there on the side. She walks over and she starts picking up the pieces of her car. So she's picking up a piece of her car here. And I think there was more pieces over there, but that's all she picked up, I guess. Luckily, it was a trash can. There wasn't really an expense related to this. The trash can was fine, was damaged, but it was fine. I don't even know what to do um, besides move the mailbox because obviously fixing it is not the issue, it's the position of the mailbox. And I actually texted the previous owner and he's never had this happen. But in the one and a half years I've owned the house, it's happened four times. On top of that, I've also had trees fall on my house and other visitors that I can't really talk about anymore. It's the story of my cursed mailbox. So let me know what you would do in this situation. Would you just put a brick mailbox there? Would you get rid of it? Because at this point, all advice is good advice because I, I don't know what to do. Like I'm just like shell shocked. <laughs> like. I'm like, I have PTSD of people hitting my mailbox. Like I check my cameras and I'm like, oh, I hope my mailbox is there today.